know what happened? I get a three-day pass, I get as far as the gate, the MPs tell me, buddy, your pass is canceled. You too? Hey, what's going on around here? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, I understand. All right, you guys heard me. Don't cry to me, go see the chaplain. We all had dates. No phone calls, no communication with anybody off the base. All leaves canceled, period. Live with it. Escaping. Major Baldine? Everything all right, sir? Where is Colonel Gallagher? Where is meeting? Oh, right over this way, sir. Come on. Hey, Sandy, what's going on here? I mean, secret meetings, Russian officers all over the place. Something pretty big's coming up, I guess. If I were superstitious, I'd have a very funny feeling about it, pal. A very funny feeling. 12 o'clock high. A QM production. Starring Paul Burke. Also starring Chris Robinson and Frank Overton. With guest stars Kevin McCarthy, Kathleen Widows, Michael Constantine. Tonight's episode, Massacre. convene uh, so many group commanders here and General Old rarely leaves his duties for just social visits. So your surmises are confirmed. There is something special in the wind. Archie? In three days, gentlemen, you will fly the first 8th Air Force shuttle raid to Russia. Going out, you will strike a key target in Germany. You will land at Poltava. The Ukraine. Refuel, reload. The important target is the one you will hit coming back, the Rulin oil refineries and storage dumps at Berlin. Colonel Gallagher's had experience with shuttle raids. He's been designated strike commander. Major Balladine was sent over to accompany the mission as liaison officer. Anything to say now, Colonel? We're briefing at 1400 hours after which you will carry it back to your own units. Anything else, sir? This will be a tough job, both diplomatically and from a tactical standpoint. We have confidence that you and your crews will get the job done. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh -huh. to crew. Coming out of this flat, we're going to turn southeast. Now, their fighters may chase us if they figure out what we're doing. So keep your eyes open. Pilot to crew, any sign of enemy fighters anywhere? Sir, not a fighter in 
preliminary strike report is 80% effective, General. 80%. Thank you. Archie, a decoded message from Gallagher. A Russian aircraft is trailing the formation. There may be Russian traffic in the area, but it was not a scheduled rendezvous. Pilot to flight engineer. Can you make him out? Over. Flight engineer to pilot. Can't make out his markings from this angle, sir, but I'm sure it's a Russian aircraft. The question is, who's in it? The Germans must have captured dozens of those crates. Item to ramrod. We have friendly bear plugging in on a Russian frequency. You'll try to get identification, over. Roger, blue item. Keep us informed. Find out who he is. Vimania, Sovietsky, Samolyot, Kutovi. Kutovi. Atomichaichi. Atomichaichi. Try the B channel. Vimania, Sovietsky, Samolyot. Gotovi, Gotovi. Adem Chaichi. He's not the imposter. He will find out where we go. Shoot him down. Blue item to Ramrod. Shall we open fire, over? Ramrod to blue item. Hold your fire. Ramrod to formation. I want you to keep the visitor in your gun sights, but hold your fire unless he tries to leave. I say again, hold your fire unless he tries to leave. Why are you asking? Shoot him! He's Nazi spy. Shoot him down. Hold your fire, Major. Pilot to crew, strike commander's orders. Hold your fire. I am Colonel Grulov, aide to General Vorodenko, Colonel Gallagher. This is Major Stovall, my ground exec. I bring you compliments of General Vorodenko. He's very anxious to receive you. Thank you. Just as soon as I get all my airplanes on the ground, I'll be right with you. Forgive me. My commander is anxious to receive you now. Boris. Protocol, Mr. Ambassador. 
I have a feeling we're starting off on the wrong foot. This guy's giving orders. Colonel, I would uh, like to change into proper uniform. Not be necessary at this time. Harvey, take over here. Tavaric. Tavaric. Borodenko, I have the honor to present Colonel Gallagher. Comrade, I welcome you with all my heart. Let us have no ceremony, no formality. We are together, equal, you and I. Captain. Captain Don is American liaison. Colonel Gallagher. Captain. Colonel, everything go well so far? Oh, of yes. course. Except for a little excitement, eh, Colonel? Well, sir, there's always excitement. But the Nazis, they were deceived. You were not followed. Well, there was an incident. However, it's something we've encountered before. The use of captured Allied aircraft to infiltrate our formations. This was done today? By one aircraft, yes, sir. And you shut him down? Eventually. Or not immediately. It was a Soviet aircraft, sir. I felt it would reveal by its actions if the men inside were Nazi scouts or Soviet comrades. You see, they didn't answer our recognition signals. So you shot them down. What action, Colonel, convinced you that they were Nazi scouts? I said this all took place more than a mile away from me. I Did you not give the command to shoot? I was trying to maintain radio silence, General. Eventually, who gave the command? Well, sir, I haven't been given the time to check that out. It sir, doesn't... it's easy to find out. As soon as the colonel has time to get himself oriented. <laughs> oh, of course, we are neglecting our hospitality. Excuse me. Tansim, I wish to speak with my chef. Comrade Baladin, welcome home. Wait for Americans to lead, then you may answer questions freely. A small banquet officially to welcome you here. Your uh, second in command, uh, Major Stovall, he also will attend. You will see how well we will treat you. Captain, you will drive the colonel to his quarters. We can go this way, colonel. Oh, colonel, I should inform you. The aircraft which followed you and which one of your subordinates destroyed was indeed one of ours, a Soviet scout. The pilot, Major Tobolkin, was killed. Captain Cherkasov, the co-pilot, is not quite dead yet. As the American commander, I am sure that you are as anxious as I am to place exactly the responsibility. General, as the American commander, I am responsible. And, sir, I am deeply sorry that... But you will exact punishment within your command. Yes, sir, if I find any reason. Thank you. I believe he knows who is guilty. Krulov! You will have someone with him at all times. In my command, the man would be shot for such stupid... Now then, you were there. Tell me what happened. Sir, it was... there was confusion. I will not accept evasions from you, from anyone. We have them in our sky. We establish now we will not have them shooting us down. It will be nearly impossible for me to obtain supplies for them until we find out who it was. Find out. Get in.
You were gone so long? A week. Edice. Comrade. I think you know. I, uh, I speak as friend. Do not lie for an American. He will only share his guilt. Speak the truth, Paladin. Speak the truth. Well, what do you think of it? All this and a banquet, too. Yeah, a banquet later on, perhaps. But right now, I've got a problem. Yes, I suspected. Harvey. So one of the gunners from Simpson's crew, they got that Soviet aircraft. You mean the Nazi scout? I've called a briefing for 1600, and we'll find out. It wasn't a Nazi scout. It was Tobukin, the great Soviet war hero. I don't want this to come out at briefing, but I've got to find out who it is so I can slap charges on somebody. Oh, come on, Joe. What do you mean, charges? Isn't a situation like that? Situation like this. Like this, Harvey. General Vorodenko wants blood. I want you to go to Kamansky and tell him to find out. And nobody's going to get in trouble as long as I can find out fast enough. But I, I've got to make some kind of a show. Boy, you sound just like... Uh... Sound like what? How the heck am I supposed to deal with this? Those were my orders, Harvey. Get along, cooperation, coordination. I'm sorry, Joe. It's a mess. Oh, Joe. Come here, I want to show you something. Ours? Why don't you take a nice hot bath? You don't know what a good hot bath can mean to a man who's been bathing for almost two years and two inches of tepid water from a sixpence in the slot British geezer. Go on, Joe. You can be in and out before Kamansky gets back here. Joe, all the hot water you want, you can fill it all the way up. Good thing I can swim. Yeah. Come in, Kamensky. Lieutenant Irina Zavanova reporting to duty, sir. Who are you? What, what kind of duty? Get out of here! Oh, your pardon, sir? Get out of here! Kamensky, uh, show this girl of another room. Uh, girl, sir? No room, sir. Any room, just get her out of here. Uh, yes, sir. Get her out! Yes, sir. Uh, have a seat. What's your name? Kamansky, Alexander. And your duty? Flight engineer, Colonel Gallagher's aide. Ah. I too am assigned to Colonel Gallagher. Kamansky, bring me a bath towel. Yes, sir. Thank you. Sir. Who is that girl? What does she want? She says she's assigned to you. Assigned to me? Yes, sir. I found out who shot down the Russian aircraft. Who? Major Baladin. Baladin? Are you sure? Yes, sir. He was the one. Shh. Watch.
is she? Uh, she was already gone, sir. Gone? Yes, sir. I wonder if she overheard us. Who else knew it was Balladame? Only Major Simpson's crew. One of the gunners was wounded. Doc Kaiser was standing by the gun. Major Balladine grabbed it and opened fire. I told him not to talk. Well, I'd better go and talk to the general. You see if you can find out what happened to her. Yes, sir. Joe. Yeah? There are no bombs, no fuel, no ammunition on this base. What? Their supply officer says the general has issued no orders. Nobody knows where the supplies are coming from or how or when. Show me a place to hide. What are you talking about? I'm going to be shot. Shot? For what? The Soviet aircraft was Tolbukin, our hero. I killed him. I did not know. Do they know you did it? They will find out. Why did you shoot him down? I... I thought he was leaving formation to go tell Nazi. I thought they have stolen one of our aircraft, and now they will betray us all. The Stukov have killed my brother, my sisters. I was afraid that... I was afraid... Yeah, I understand, but I should think you could rely on your own people to understand that, too. Yeah. Understanding is not our way. Well, I wish I could help you, Major, but I can't. Please. There is no other way for me. Take me with you when you leave. That's ridiculous. What would I do with you? They can't even find gasoline for our ships. We might be here for days. Gasoline? I know where there is gasoline. Sir? I realize this is not in the regulations. Yes, 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 yes. Pardon me, General, but I'm fighting a tight time schedule. My return rate over Berlin is vital to both of us. Why can't I have my supplies? You bring me here to ask me this? Yes, because I'm charged with establishing coordination and cooperation. Now, the only way I can do this is to discuss my problems with you. Are you withholding my supplies for any reason? Are you withholding the name of the man who shot down Comrade the Balkan? No, I just found out. And believe me, it creates quite a difficult situation for both of us. And this is why you brought me here? Yes, to tell you privately. The man was Major Balladine. <laughs> you have a word, um, scapegoat. Yes, we have. Are you trying to make a scapegoat of Major Balladine? If I were, General, I would denounce him publicly. General, Baladin must have thought what he did was right. Right? To shoot down a major war hero? Ridiculous. But he didn't know that. He, he thought he was a Nazi scout. We all did. Are you trying to defend the man? No, sir. I just don't want to see him suffer for what he did. And I don't want this incident to upset our relationship. General, I want my supplies. I want to finish my job. Now, I don't know how to be any more honest than that. To you, it is an incident. But to our system, nothing will move until this incident is explained. But, sir, what is important? Now, you, you can't hide a base like this. Every minute we sit here on the ground, we're, we're creating a bigger hazard for both of us. You still believe that I, I, I bargain with you? You do not understand this system, my friend. To us, it is essential that each element be placed in its proper order. I want to hit Berlin as much as you do! But to my superiors, the question of Comrade to Balkan will come first. Then go tell them. Tell them what? That an American officer has told me it was done by one of my own men. Impossible. 
First I must question Baladin, there must be a full-scale investigation, and then... General, by then it may be too late. the general. Have you seen Commander Baladin? I must speak to him. Irina, Luftwaffe finds us, bombs us, and you worry only about Baladin? What is wrong? Roloff, we must get permission to release the supplies at once. The Nazis will come again. Try to get through to Marshal Tashkov at once. Lieutenant Zavanova, you are uh, a close to Major Baladin. Sir, we are from the same village. We are very close. Bring him to me. This is now your assignment. Sir, I have an affection for Comrade Baladin. You have also your orders. I wish to obey all orders, sir. But if I fail... Why do you fear you will fail? Do you know why I want him? They say it was he who shot down to Balkan. Who says? I was assigned to duty to the American colonel. And you did not report. Sir, I would have. I came to report, but... Good. I value a loyal officer. Bring Major Baladin to me. Yes, sir. Stancia. All right. And I want you to get all aircraft with sufficient fuel out of here right now. I don't care where you land them. Take them to a field five miles away, anywhere. Just get them off this base. Well, we got some cripples that can't take off. I'll start transferring fuel out of them. Okay, get going. I doubt if there's one that'll fly five miles. It's going to make it awfully tough to reassemble them. It's better than losing them all in the event the Luftwaffe comes back. So I lost the girl. She went to their GHQ. That's okay, Sandy. Come on, let's go. Yes, sir. Joe. Doc, on the way to the field. Wait. I can't. Would you listen to me? Okay, Sandy, I'll be right with you. Yes. Our gasoline is stored in a warehouse less than a mile from the field. Gasoline? Are you sure? I know how to find the warehouse. How? I mean, how did you find this out? Well, I made a deal with Major Baladin. Baladin? Get sore later, Joe, but first let's go make sure this is true. Get your men and some of mine if you need them. Get this stuff out of here. Sir, we just can't seize it. I'll decide that. I want to have it spread around. One bomb in here and it all goes up. I really don't think the Germans will be back. They don't have a bomber fleet. Now look, Captain, I know you want to avoid any further trouble with General Vorodenko, but I've just given you an order. And if you don't obey that order now, you're going to have trouble with me. Yes, sir. Where's Major Baladin? I don't know. You don't know? What do you mean you don't know? Didn't you hide him? Well, he begged me to, but I couldn't. I let him go, that's all. Just promised not to report him. Let him go where? I don't know. Come on, Doc, where? Well, he wanted to fly out with us. He might be in one of the airplanes. All right. You go to my quarters and stay there. Why? Because if I have to, I can tell them I arrested you. Oh, thanks a lot. Now, don't pull that on me. These people are watching us. If they find out about this, you're an accessory and we're all in trouble. Yes, sir.
One of our officers cannot be found. We believe he is deserted and possibly hidden in one of these bombers. Colonel, this aircraft is about to take off. My commanding officer has given me orders to stop Colonel, police. you speak to my commanding officer before you try to put a man aboard any B-17 on this Sergeant, station. Sergeant, over Sheedy at the Get upper those men out of here. I have Get orders. those men away from my airplanes. I'll take this up with your general later on, but right now, get them out of here. Go on, get them out! Stop it! Major Pardon me, Lieutenant. No, no, listen to me, listen to me. Before I was in the women's army, the Nazi SS came to my village. I had no chance. He saved my life. You understand? I'd understand if you were trying to help him escape. He cannot escape. Colonel, I was the one who reported I could not find him. It was my duty. If I could be the one who found him now, I might save his life. Please, please help me find him. I'm sorry, Lieutenant. I don't know where he is. Please, Come please, on now. Come get that airplane please. out of here. Please, you know where he is. Get it out. Tell me, tell me. are still here. Where else can they possibly be? I cannot get permission to give them fuel. Forget to Balkan! Ah. Gruloff! What is Gruloff? Sir, Colonel Gruloff is searching for Comrade Balan. Forget the search. What is this? There is another wave of Nazi bombers approaching. You did, yeah? Yes, sir. What will you do? Will you take me back? Will you kill me? I have my duty. And your love? Forgive me. 
me, sir. This is not for you. Please, Major, I know what you're hoping for, but the answer no, is no. No, sir, no longer. It's true, I wish to leave with you, but no more. And I do not go with her. But she came to me pleading for you. Of course. It is her duty. You know the history of our country. Two years ago, the Nazis were friends with Russia. A little while ago, Irina and I were in love. But because of my hate and fear of the Nazis, what they did to me, what they did to her, I made a mistake. And now I am a deserter. And by system, which I have to make, Irina must take me back or kill me. Her duty. Stay back. <laughs> You believe what he said of me? We'll be coming in again, sir. We're running low on ammo. All right, I'll try to find some more. Yes, sir. Well, go ahead. It's your duty, isn't it? You think I could? I don't know. I'm supposed to know you people, but I don't. I'm a soldier. Before I was a soldier, I was a woman. fired all of our ammunition. How many airplanes did you save? I got 19 off the ground, but I don't know for sure. The gasoline? The gasoline, which they did not permit me to give to you, was saved because you gave the order to have it move. How did you know these raids were coming? I, uh, I didn't know. You didn't know, you didn't know, but you improvised and you were correct. General, the only way we can save anything is to get what we have left off the ground in the air tomorrow before the Germans have a chance to come back. Sir, can't you do something? Yes. Tomorrow, without authority, I will give you your supplies. The bombs, the fuel, the ammunition, everything. Perhaps if you do hit Berlin, I may someday be forgiven for breaking the rule of the system. We will hit Berlin, General. This I promise you. General, what about Major Baladin? Ah, forget, forget. <laughs> you see, to break one rule, all rules are broken. Look at this. This was to be welcome for you. Tomorrow it may be farewell for me. Colonel, American handshake.
Sir? It is my duty to report that gasoline, guns and ammunition were given to them without permission. By me. You will write a report at once to Marshal Tashkov. I shall also report myself for failing to bring in Major Baladin. That is not part of your duty. Danzio. Put me through to Marshal Tashkov. Ramrod to formation. Breaking radio silence. There may be friendly fighters in the area, so be careful who you shoot at. Fly tight and make it count. The worst and the best are yet to come. That's Berlin down there. And remember, Goering and Hitler said we'd never bomb it. Ramrod out. Fighters, Jerry's coming through the flak at 3 o'clock high. Seconds all down. Now we have an ETA of 1745 for the 966, and that's the last of the 918th coming in now. Gallagher's group. Good. I want to see him before I leave. Yes, sir. Archer, here's a decoded message from Poltava. Eleven aircraft repairable. They'll be returned to the units, and then there's a list of repair parts needed. But this. Send Gallagher with this equipment. We owe him a banquet. This is signed by Nikolai Vododenko, the Russian commander. I'd say our man Gallagher is a pretty good ambassador. 